Hi, I'm John from Offroad CC and today I'm going to talk to you about tight nuts uh, and namely what you can do if you've managed to seize or round a bolt on your bike. Before I get stuck into that I'll say the obvious first thing which is uh, prevention is better than cure. So especially with things like cleat bolts which are a common one to round out, um, put some copper slip on them. Uh, disc brake bolts, most of the modern ones now have uh, kind of thread lock which does work quite well. I wouldn't put anti-seize on those. Uh, kind of your pedal bolts into your cranks, definitely put some grease on those and don't tighten them like a great ape. That'll save you a lot of trouble. The next thing to say is that if you say had uh, this pair of shoes and you haven't you know, taken the cleats off for ages, odds on, as soon as you touch that, unless you did actually put cup slip on it, these are going to round off. So take a step ahead and find yourself some stuff like this. This is penetrating oil. Uh, you can use another thing called plus gas, which is fantastic. Uh, you can also use W30. What you need is any, any sort of thin oil that will kind of get seep into that and hopefully free up a bit of the corrosion. So when you do come to undo it, it just makes your life a bit easier. Uh, the same goes for disc brake bolts, most of which are now happily Torx heads rather than Allen heads because they're a bit less like cheese. So what you do is just squirt that in and just leave it for as long as you can. Um, overnight is ideal, but obviously you might not be dealing with that. Um, so there are basically three ways, uh, we've just covered one of them, you can help yourself undo tie balls. The first is obviously lubrication. Um, the second is heat, uh, but this obviously on most bicycle things is a very poor idea. Uh, so we'll only save that for really mad cases. Uh, and the next one is obviously yeah, violence. So, big bolts are a classic one. Um, because this is obviously a four mil Allen head bolt, what usually happens is you tighten it, it's stiff, it just rounds out. So the solution to that is to get yourself an oversized Torx bit. Uh, I think for four mil, this is a T27. And then what you do is uh, get in your big hammer, pull that somewhere, and you just need to basically like brutally hammer that in until it deforms the bolt and then that's stuck in there. Once you've got that, then get yourself a proper wrench um, it's better to use these bits than a multi-tool, I think, because obviously they're crap, you can't hammer on them. And this will just make life easier. And once that's in there, you should be able to do it. Of course, you only get one shot at that, because if you round out this when it's been hammered into there, obviously you're left with nowhere else to go, apart from my next stage. Um, that, of course, is getting your drill. Uh, and what you want is a drill bit that is, in the case of these disc bolts, it is slightly larger or the shaft of it is larger than the uh, thread of the bolt there, but it's also bigger than most of the head there. And the aim of the game is that you want to drill this until only that bit, the stud of the bolt, is left in. Uh, in a Blue Peter style, here's one I've done earlier. Um, so the other thing to use, if, unless you really like blunting expensive drill bits, is put some lube on there too, just like WD-40 spray oil is brilliant. You should see once you got down to there, you should have cut off the head of the bolt. And uh, what we'll do now, um, you can either go until it completely falls off, or the other thing is you just do it a little bit. And if all the other bolts are free, then you can pull up that and it'll just pop the head off it, just like a rivet almost in reverse. some uh, trusty mole grips. Should hopefully be able to get a, get a handle on this. Uh, twist that head off. Oh, no. We'll come back to that one. Let that be. Um, the other option with disc bolts is once you've rounded out the Torx bit, there's not a lot you can do. So, if you get yourself a hacksaw, what you want to do is uh, cut a slot into it, as you can see that I've done here. So obviously just get your hacksaw, be careful not to try and hit the side of the disc too much, although it's inevitable unfortunately. Uh, and you just want to cut fairly deep into there. And you see now I've got a pretty good flathead screwdriver bit. Then obviously get a nice broad flat bit like that, have some dog hair on it. Get this again, you can use a screwdriver, but you're gonna get more leverage with something like this. So that's what I'd recommend, get that in there and make sure you put a lot of pressure down on it because you don't want this to slip out. Yeah, and there you go. Now we're uh, going to get that out. 
nice thing with this method is that uh, if you do screw up one side, you get a second chance because you cut another cross into it at 90 degrees and have a go there. Uh, but usually that will do the trick. One good bolt. And um, again, like I say, with these, put a bit of oil on them because it'll make it so much easier. If you've rounded one out, it's odd on you're going to round a few more out. So just put some oil on it, leave it for like half an hour, as long as you like. And now we come to our one that we've drilled out, and uh, it's the magic. Hey! And uh, you'll now notice that we're left with a stud in there. But the thing is, because the head is the main thing that's applying the tension to all of that, once the head is gone, there's a lot less tension on that thread, and that means it's much more likely to come out if you use uh, mold grips or some pliers, something like that. You should be able to just get this right. So once you've got that there, all you need is, because like I said, there's not much pressure. Not to damage the face of this, because that would be very expensive. Jobs are good. And... Right then. Uh, at some point, we'll follow this up on uh, the bigger things that get seized, namely seat posts in frames, uh, and that requires a whole new level of violence. But anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, make sure you give the video a like, and if you want to see more of our stuff, then make sure you subscribe. Cheers, bye bye.